All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, we're going to take a look at the Panzer IV Aust J. Now, the Panzer IV was a German medium tank developed in the late 1930s and used extensively during the Second World War. On the 11th of January, 1934, the German army wrote up the specifications for a medium tractor to support the Panzer III, which was armed with a 37mm anti-tank gun. The new vehicle was to have a short-barreled 75mm howitzer as its main gun and was allotted a weight of 24 tons. In concept, it was intended to be a support tank for use against enemy anti-tank guns and fortifications. The first six versions of the Panzer IV, the Aust A, B, C, D, E, and F, were equipped with this short-barreled 75mm KWK L24 main gun and differed mostly in armor thickness. However, after encountering the Soviet T-34 medium and KV-1 heavy tanks during Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union, the Germans realized that they needed a much more powerful tank gun. In November 1941, the decision to upgun the Panzer IV to a long-barreled 75mm KWK-40 L-43 anti-tank gun was made. When firing an armor-piercing shell, the gun's muzzle velocity was increased from 430 meters per second to 990 meters per second. The longer KWK-40 L-43 gun first started being mounted during the Panzer IV Aust F production run, and the Aust F tanks that received the new gun were temporarily named Aust F-2. Three months after beginning production of the Aust F-2, production switched to the Panzer IV Aust G. The Panzer IV Aust G was produced from March 1942 to June 1943, and it featured another armor upgrade to the front of the vehicle, but to avoid a corresponding weight increase, 20 millimeter steel plates were removed from its side armor, which instead had its base thickness increased to 30 millimeters. The weight saved was transferred to the front, which had a 30 millimeter face hardened steel plate welded, later bolted on to the glacis. In total, frontal armor was now 80 millimeters thick. At this point, it was decided that 50% of the Panzer IV productions should be fitted with 30 millimeter thick additional armor plates. Subsequently, on the 5th of January, 1943, Hitler decided that all Panzer IVs should have 80 millimeters of frontal armor. To simplify production, the vision ports on either side of the turret and the one on the right turret front were removed, while a rack for two spare road wheels was installed on the track guard on the left side of the hull. Complementing this, brackets for seven spare track lengths were added to the glacius plate. On the 19th of March, 1943, the first Panzer IV with side skirts on its sides and turret was exhibited. In April, 1943, the KWK L-43 was replaced by the longer 75 mm KWK-40 L-48 gun which featured a redesigned multi-baffle muzzle brake with improved recoil efficiency. After 1,275 had been delivered by Krupp and 412 previous units had been upgunned, production switched to the Aust H. The pinnacle of Panzer IV design, the Panzer IV Aust H, began production in June 1943. The 80 millimeters of front glacius armor was now a single piece rather than being welded or bolted on. 
Zimmerick paste was also being added to the Panzer IV's hull to prevent the use of magnetic anti-tank mines. 5mm Schertzen or side skirts were added to the hull and 8mm Schertzen was added around the turret. The Aust H return rollers were changed from rubber rimmed to cast steel. All these modifications increased the weight to 25 tons and despite the use of a new suspension and six speed transmission, the cross country speed dropped to only 10 miles per hour or 16 kilometers per hour. These features pushed the Panzer IV chassis to its limits of capacity. Despite that, the Panzer IV House H would go on to be the most produced Panzer IV variant. Now, if you're thinking that the Panzer IV Aus J is an improved version of the Aust H, you would be mistaken. In 1944, as Panzer IV losses piled up, Germany introduced a simplified, cheaper variant that was supposed to be faster to produce and use less raw materials. The Panzer IV Aust J is considered by most to be a downgrade from the Panzer IV Aust H. To replace decimated armored forces, the Panzer IV was once again revised, this time not for the better, but for a more easily produced vehicle. The thing that you will notice most while playing the Panzer IV Aust J is that it had its electric turret traverse and its associated auxiliary engine removed and although a dual speed hand traverse was installed to compensate for this loss, the traverse is still slower than that of the Aust H. An auxiliary fuel tank was installed in place of the turret traverse motor and auxiliary engine, which did increase the vehicle's range. The pistol and vision ports on the turret were also removed. The return rollers were reduced from four to three. The shirts and skirts were changed from solid plates to wire mesh and the engine radiator housing was simplified. In addition to these changes there were a couple of positive upgrades. A smoke grenade launcher was added for self-defense and the armor on the tank roof was increased. All of these changes were made to increase productivity of the Panzer IV while keeping combat survivability high. Now here in War Thunder, the Panzer IV J is not equipped with the wire mesh side skirts, but there is a premium version of this vehicle, which is known as the Panzer Befels Wagon IV Aust J, and it does have side skirts so that I can show you what it looks like. Now the Panzer Befels Wagon 4 Aust J is actually just a command variant of the Panzer 4J equipped with three radio sets. So besides the three additional antenna that we see on the Panzer Befels Wagon, um, this is pretty much what the Panzer 4J looks like with the mesh side skirts. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the Panzer IV Aus J is located in the German Tech Tree. It is a rank 2 medium tank with a battle rating of 4.0. It has a 572 horsepower engine propelling the 25.4 ton vehicle to a top speed of 26.7 miles per hour. Its main armament is a 75mm KWK-40 L48 cannon with a maximum ammo load of 87 rounds. Its secondary armament consists of two 7.92mm MG-34 machine guns. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150 which gives me a reload of 6.2 seconds. So what do I think of the Panzer IV Aust J here in War Thunder Arcade? Well, I think that at this stage in the Panzer IV's life, it has had a lot of extra weight added to it, just like me. 
and its cross-country mobility is kind of compromised. Its armor protection is not up to the task of withstanding uh, the enemies that you will face at this battle rating. Pretty much everything you face can penetrate you. The good thing is the KWK 40L48 cannon. It's a really good gun. And if you can find a good covered position where you can put that cannon to work, you can also penetrate just about anything that you face at this battle rating. So find you a good covered position and put that gun to work. That being said, why don't we see some gameplay? Here we go. Alrighty, we picked up Golden Quarry. I have not completely decided whether I like this map yet or not. I do know that I like the southern um, side of the map as it is right now better than the middle or northern side. So I like fighting around all of the hills and stuff down here on this southern side. So I think I'm going to try to find a position down there where I can bring fire home to the ACAP. There should be one or two positions. I'll readjust um, as needed if I need to. need to keep an eye out for enemy personnel who also may be flanking down here to this southern side. Oh man! That slowed me down. I was hoping for a smoother transition up this hill. See a couple of guys on the mini-map. see. I'm going to try to go to the right of this hill here. Offer a little more protection. Snapshot. Alright, got the T126. Panzer 3 is right there. Oh, is he backing up? Got his transmission. Let's see, there he is. Oh, come on. Turret, maybe? There we go. Get ready for this air battle. Here we go. 
we have seven bombs. Let's see, one for you and you, 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 three more left. See if we can drop them right here. I got one one bomb left. I think I was at too steep of a, a decline to be able to release that bomb. Maybe let's try this AA vehicle. be a tank destroyer coming out right around in here so oh hold on c50 missed him and four got him and four 105 got him i got his Transmission. There's a tank destroyer right around here. He just killed one of the friendlies. There he is. Bam! Right through the roof. ahead and see if we can get some more flanking shots because the buildings seem to be in the way. There's an M24 right there. Dang, he just got taken out. M24 just got taken out. Another air battle available, but I missed it. Pins are three. Oh, I don't have the gun depression. Dang it. Missed the opportunity to get him. And then I missed the shot. And now I'm here. They dropped artillery on me. We can get up behind this pile of dirt up here. Oh man! Got black right in the turret. Killed my whole turret crew. Yes, and somebody took out the Panzer III, which was push, pushing me. Probably should not do that. I think it was that guy right there who hit me in the turret. Panzer IV F2. couple of guys left in the cap over there, but I really don't have a shot on them, and I can't drop Artie on them. Let's 
pull forward. PBK B2. That vehicle is surprisingly deadly. Not much armor, but stuff just goes right through it. It doesn't kill a lot of people when it does it. You can really fire that quick. Get him. Oh, Stug, you. Let's see if we can finish him off. There we go. Where's the PB? I don't want that dude to kill me. Let's go hide while we take out this air battle. some smoke. Alright, we got two bombs, but not going to get a chance to drop them. Okay. Take a look. These awards, teamwork, ground force rescuer, multi-strike, Shadow Strike Streak without a miss, Avenger, Tank Rescuer, Professional, Survivor, Heavy Metal Hero, and the Best Squad. At 14 kills. My results. First place. 95% battle activity. Let's get that reward. All right. Okay, I was a little late hitting that record button. I thought it was on. But we are on Sinai. We are on the northern side of the map. I have taken the northeasternmost spawn point. All right, here we go. We can get through this traffic jam. Oh, the Panzer IV F2, one of my absolute favorite vehicles. Lower battle rating, but the gun is still good enough. I mean, he's not going to have any problem at this battle rating. Let's see, All right? Try it. Ah. Doesn't hurt to throw off around. Alright. There we go. There's a 4G. Got him. Stuff 42. Hit him, but didn't kill him. Don't want to get hit back. Drop some Marty. Oh, I got the stuff uh, forty two in a bad spot. Finished him off there. Let's take out this air battle. Hopefully, we'll be safe right here for a little bit. Drop some party. Got six bombs. I probably should have went over to the A, but it's too much of a move now. We're ahead of the enemy. Drop, drop. Come this way, drop, drop, drop. 
Alright, let's bail out. I don't think I did anything. to hold the line down this way. Damaged him. Wait, he's dead. Move forward behind the building. Try it. Nope, can't get through the building. No shot on the turret. Let's drop Artie. kill him but should get him with this shot. There we go. Taking a risk. Taking a risk. how to 
drive. There's an M3L right up here. You probably saw me coming, but I don't know. Yes. Alright, let's take a look at these awards. Multi-Strike, Avenger, Adamant, According to Intelligence, Without a Miss, Tank Rescuer, Professional, Shadow Strike Streak, Survivor, and Heavy Metal Hero. 15 kills. I'll take that all day and twice on Sunday. First place in the team. 96% battle activity. So, the Panzer IV Aus J, yeah, not an upgrade from the H. Just be mindful that the turret traverse is slower than the previous models, so don't get yourself in a situation um, where you need to traverse and get killed because you couldn't traverse your turret fast enough. But do remember that, hey, you can always turn the tank to help with that. I want to apologize that it has taken me so long to get a video out. I'm very sorry. I have just been so tired and drained lately that I just haven't felt like knuckling down and knocking out the video. But I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Panzer IV Aus J. And speaking of looks, why don't we take a look 
at some of the designs I have available in the Angry Nerd merch shop. Here are eight designs that are available. You can get hundreds of products, hats, hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, cups, pillows, all kind of stuff. If you're interested, link in the description below. If you've liked this video, like it. If you didn't, don't subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching and thanks again to my Patreon supporters. I couldn't do it without you.